Hey guys, we're back. Crash Course Literature. Let's do this. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the other West Moore. The other West Moore is about the two dudes with the exact same name, but they live two different lives. Jacob and Evan. Jacob and Evan. Were they twins? <laughs> no, stupid. The other West Moore is a story about two fates, both coming from the same neighborhood. The Yellow Rose Moore talks about a story of two individuals coming from the same place, end up with two opposite lifestyles and futures. But how did this happen? Both Westmore and the other Westmore grew up in rough neighborhoods within the city of Baltimore. Inequality is represented through both Westmore's lives. Both men were raised by single mothers and surrounded by temptation. Facing very similar circumstances, two different lives were presented. Westmore was raised by a single mom, and when his dad died of a rare virus at the age of three, despite childhood challenges, Wes was pushed by his mother to be the best he could, whenever he could. He graduated military college and then served as a captain and paratrooper in the U.S. Army. On the other hand, the other Westmore took a different path involving gangs, drugs, violence, and even murder. His parents were Mary and Bernard. Oh, wait. The other Westmore's parents were Mary and Bernard. He had one brother, Tony, who drastically influenced his life. He also had a difficult life growing up because of the absence of his father. He stayed in the streets and sold drugs. He robbed a jewelry store and assisted in the death of a police officer. He has now been sent to life in prison. So basically, the other one's more let inequality like swallow his life, even though um, they were both like, you know, grow up in like really rough neighborhoods and stuff like that. They both were surrounded by, you know, they both were raised by a single mother. I think the other one's more let you know, even though there wasn't as many opportunities, he let that just like eat him alive. And he went, he turned to gangs and turned to drugs and turned to violence. But the original Westmore, you know, his mom was like, you need to, we're going to get you an education. So she sent him to the military school and, you know, that opened up his life. And, you know, that's why he's so successful today. Um, but the other Westmore let his older brother, Tony, which, I mean, you always look up to your um, older sibling, but in this case, it kind of took a turn for the worse as the other four was dragged into the thug life. Well, the other four let inequality swallow his life. Um, instead of like his parents taking advantage and taking him to military school, the other four, um, his parents weren't really like influential in his life, but his brother was Tony. And Tony, being the older brother, he always looked up to Tony, but in this case, it took a turn for the worse. Now, how do I just relate back to American literature? Well, let's start with Frederick Douglass's slave narrative. So I like to start by reading one of his, one of his quotes. He says, Once you learn to read, you will, forever, you will be forever free. So I feel like this can relate to Wes Moore and he, how he was able to escape poverty and overcome um, his life situation through education. So, like his mom sent him to military school, and through military school in the future, he's able to become uh, a really successful man. And you know, through his business and his this book, and able to convey um, everything he wanted to. Um, so, in a interview with Oprah, he says um, education played a major role. In my life, he says, I think education taught me critical thinking. I think education showed me a world I never knew existed. And Wes says, my grandfather used to say that education is like a skeleton key. If you can get that skeleton key, you can open any door. I feel like that quote embodies what Frederick Douglass was saying with um, education is the um, once you learn to read, you will be forever free. So I feel like those correlate with... Um, with inequality. Um, but Frederick Douglass's slave narrative um, shows inequality through um, how his slave owners didn't want him to read because they knew if slaves had the power to read and be educated that they would be on the same level. So they always try to keep literature and you know learning simple things like the alphabet away from slaves. But like Frederick Douglass, like Frederick Douglass says, um, you know once you learn to read you will forever be free. So um, Frederick Douglass didn't let inequality stop him, and uh, he found out how to read, and uh, he became a really educated man, and that refers back to the other Westmore, or the original Westmore, you could say, um, and how he was able to escape poverty 
and overcome his life situation through education and the military program and everything like that. My subject um, was rebellion, so we're kind of mashing inequality and rebellion together. And so um, the, success, the successful Westmore particularly rebelled against the norms surrounding um, his family and neighborhood influences. So growing up in a um, particularly bad neighborhood, um, the norms were to drop out of school, become a drug dealer, be involved in gang violence and all this um, bad stuff. And so um, the successful Westmore kind of rebelled against those norms and went out of his boundaries and to become successful and that maybe that involves his parents intervening for him to be become the greater good but all in all he had to rebel to get out of that situation and so linked to rebellion in american literature throughout sergeant murray's um essay on the equality of the sexes throughout her essay the author compares women's and man's ability in imagination reason memory and judgment she believed that women uh, are surrendered to use their imagination. So, in fact, they are allowed. If they were allowed time to imagine, they they would be able to invent awesome things and write books such as these. However, this fertile brain of a female has been set aside due to the damage caused by the society's confinement. Women have been supposed to stick with the needle and kitchen, which wastes the intelligent parts of women. So, basically, in her essay, she has to rebel against norms involving um, a woman surrounded by um, family jobs such as cleaning the kitchen, making the food, um, taking care of the kids, everything outside of her home. She works out of home. So in doing this, Sergeant Murray um, rebelled out of those barriers and became a writer and she wrote these and women got a hold of this book and became influenced and this book just started a trend of women getting out of their comfort zone and talking to their husbands and men about this inequality. America's literature was based off rebellion. Um, they, our style um, for our literature is different than our counterpart. And so coming over to America and starting our own thing, American literature is based off of rebellion itself, including in this book, The Other Ones More. We hope you liked our video. Um, we compared inequality and rebellion um, from the other West more to American literature. Have a great day. Yeah.